All right, so awesome news, Skywatch has finally been added to hard mode in Prodigy. I am so excited to begin in this video and complete hard mode in Skywatch because I really, really, really like the look of the set, that uh, the armor set that is going to be available in hard mode. And the pets too, Zing, Sarazap, and Sleepnir are going to be so cool to get. They're down here. They've been added for a very long time, like months and months. Sarah's app is the one I haven't seen yet for some reason. But uh, the other two I've seen in the dual stadium. But I'm so excited to get these. They were just added to the pet book very early. So uh, now they're going to be obtainable finally. So... We're going to be getting uh, Zing in this video and the first part of the armor set. So I'm super excited for that. And then I'll have a video coming out later, hopefully pretty soon, that goes uh, into fully completing Skywatch hard mode. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And then, of course, I'll have a video on how to get the new pets too. And that'll be the normal thing we do for these uh, area, uh, video, uh, hard mode unlocks. So if you will, you'll also notice that all the other areas have recently been added to hard mode, like uh, Dino Dig, Lamplight Town, Dragon Isle, etc. You can now just visit them in hard mode. Okay, so we have Skywatch here. Let's see some of the uh, rare pets we can rescue that are different than normal Skywatch. I see Sarah Zug, not usually there in Skywatch. Luma Bolt, not there because it got removed. Well, no, it wasn't there. And then uh, Zip, uh, Zip Zap. Then we got, we just got some evolved pets that were removed from regular Skywatch. And then I'm seeing all the creators here pretty much. So that's interesting. We got all the, like, we've got all the Neeks, Callers, and Creators in here. And then we, of course, have Zing, Sarasap, and Sleepner right there at the end. And we will be getting those fairly soon so i'm super excited for that and i just don't know why it doesn't like to show that i have a storm bluff rescued even though i totally do of course so let's get into it let's see how the quests start like with their normal uh you know card frame title opening sequence rare pets fly through the clouds collecting storm power it's so neat that they added these. I love them. Magic. The puppet master thinks he can use the weather to help him. But that won't happen if you get the Skywatch Keystone. We're looking at a company. And oh man, Skywatch has finally been updated to BHD. This is the first time we're seeing its new HD look, and this looks so good. I love the bean the the stalk the beanstalk cloud stalk. Whatever we want to call it. Vines and plants all around. I uh, love the new texture of the snowy-ish area. And then all the Skywatch mechanics that uh, we see around that are pretty normal. We see these updated to BHD. Now that's awesome. So we also see the uh, cloaked storm wizard here at the top, which is the first one we're going to battle. Let's go in here. Ooh, that's nice. I like that animation. And there's the uh non-member chest we're going to get that hopefully so uh super cool there and let's go to these other areas just so i can see before i go over there and ooh, i love the look of the outside factory that is super neat we see a luma vault and a and a Krami there and then of course those the other way is blocked by the vines that we're going to have to prune. Let's go this way. And ooh, there's a zing. Nice. We're going to uh, probably get to that one in uh, this video so we can rescue it. So awesome. Now, I just love this updated look of HD. It's so good. Uh, just like it has been for all the other areas. All right, so I'm going to put on some plant pets to do the cloaked storm wizard and of course then uh, most of Skywatch because it is storm. So I need an AOE. 
for a heroin plant. I might just use Rattlefang. Now it's got Shrub Assault, and it's really powerful with its new, and it's new, and its order is high, so I think I'll choose Rattlefang. For gear, uh, well, I'm gonna put back on the Shadow Throne, and uh, let's see. I'm going to probably put on, I think the Wanderer's Staff is the one I usually use for these uh, AoE plant things. I think I usually use it, it's got Shrubble Salt. And then for the Relic, we're going to use the Strong Plant Relic with Branching Grapple. And yeah, I know this battle is going to give us the first part of the Skywatch hard mode armor set. So I'm super excited for that. It's probably going to be the, uh, the hat. Ooh, wait, huh. This is new. So usually that doesn't happen. I guess they changed it this time around. And that's what you would see on all the other areas too. Very interesting. So cool. Now, the requirement was to rescue 87 different pets, and now, and we've, of course, done that. Alright, so the Cloak Storm Wizard here has Mystique and Blast Star as its pets. Always nice to see Mythical Epics being used. So we're going to do some plant damage. Mystique attacks, and now Blast Star attacks. It's going to be weak to my plant pets. I'm going to have to figure uh, something out here on how to beat this. Alright, the wizard dodge. Alright, that was pretty good. We didn't lose too much heart health from that. Alright, they're below half health. Let's use strangling vine see who it gets. Mystique. Oh... Are you kidding me? That could have ta easily taken out Mystique, but we got to dodge. Man, that really stinks. So, hmm. I was hoping that would take out Mystique. Let's see. We'll use Spine Barrage. So many dodges. All right, they're almost out. Still got a little bit left. Let's use uh, Branching Grapple. That should take them out. Good, we got them out, and now we got the Storm Wizard to deal with. We can use some powerful plant spells, single hit plant spells like Strangling Vine. Yep, that does a lot of damage, almost 2,000. And then Shrub Assault, let's see. Oh, we got a dodge. They have so many dodges because they're so high in level. Alright, goodbye Forest Creator. I don't think we need you because we probably just need like one more hit if we're lucky so let's see shrub assault there we go we got the cloaked storm wizard taken out and we won the battle 93 battle stars for that super cool and the reward yes 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 we got the amazing hat here for the skywatch hard mode set I'm so excited to check that out. It's got to be the best hat in the game with it because the heart bonus and all the other bonuses keep increasing with the more sets that are added for hard mode. Surus Flash Helm. All right, so the set is named Surus Flash. It's the Surus Flash set. That's very interesting. I like that name. And the helmet looks just as cool as I expected it to. That is so neat. Uh, it's description, the lightning motifs above the eyes show just show how serious this helmet is. That is awesome. I love the lightning motifs above the eyes. Its heart bonus is 311, so 12 more than the previous one, which is the Davy Jones Tricorn. So the this entire set's going to have a bonus of 311, which is the highest in the game, so yep we'll have a defense bonus a power bonus a dodge bonus of uh 311 and that's super cool love to see it of course so they are the best armor sets in the game currently that you can use but that will change the more that get added like the uh shadow set and the astral set in uh the academy 
are both going to be uh are both going to be even higher so super excited for that here we see a uh storm beaks uh, and a zing there up there that was three things and a close fire wizard so we're gonna have to battle that uh, at some point but i am going to go and rescue this zing so it's gonna cost me 50 magic coin it might cost you a little bit of a different amount on your account but i think for most accounts it's gonna cost 50 magic coin because it's a rare uh, first evolution pet. So it's going to take a lot of magic coin to get these uh, three pets. Zing, Sarah Zap, and uh, Sleepner. But we do what we got to do. We will uh, get to it. So and get these three pets no matter how many magic coin it takes. So uh, we just got to find the way to do it that costs the least amount of magic coin, which I know we can do. So, because I've done this a bunch of times now with all these other pets. So, I'll go into depth on that in my full video on how to get the three of those. So keep watch for that whenever that comes out. And all right, now we are able to rescue the Zing. So after it attacks, let's do that. All right let's rescue it zing 50 magic coin we got none of them so let's go ahead and rescue there we go and zing is now ours perfect finally i've been waiting on this forever zing is a so cool you know it's a variant of the whole sprite and flick flit and fey and scatty uh variant evolution chains that have all been added is so cool so this is just another one of those but it's a storm type and it's so cool so let's go check it out we've got a new zing we no longer have it in our non gotten pets section so zing it's going to be right here it's so cool it's a variant it is a variant of flick flit i believe and not sprite so zing super cool because fey is a variant of sprite yeah and i for some reason i cannot remember which one one uh scaddy is a variant of so it's so cool its type is speedy and its description zings love to zip around all at uh, at breakneck speeds and will race at the drop of a hat. Its spells are multi spark, fizzle pop, and chain lightning. And super, super cool. It is a rare pet, of course. I'm going to go much more in depth on that on in my later video on how to get these three. So definitely check this check that video out when it comes out. And my full completion video of Skywatch Hard Mode when it comes out as well. So I'm super excited for all of that and to complete Skywatch hard mode and to get all three of these pets. So that's going to be so, so cool. Very exciting. So really that is the full start of Skywatch hard mode and its quest line. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to finishing it. It's going to be so cool. Even though it's going to be tough, it's going to be the toughest one of these areas we've experienced yet. So, yeah, I mean, it's just going to keep getting harder. The battles are getting tougher. These enemies can go basically up to level 150 or very close to it. So, yeah. What are your thoughts on the new Skywatch hard mode in Prodigy? How far have you gotten into it yet? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.